Almost one century after chemical weapons were banned by the civilized world after their horrific use in World War I, they are sadly witnessing another suspected chemical attack in Syria. I'd like to begin by condemning the heinous attack on innocent Syrians with banned chemical weapons. It was an atrocious attack. It was horrible. You don't see things like that as bad as the news is around the world. You just don't see those images. We are studying that situation extremely closely. We are meeting with our military and everybody else. And we'll be making some major decisions over the next 24 to 48 hours. We are very concerned when a thing like that can happen. This is about humanity. We're talking about humanity. All right, joining us now from Washington, D.C., with a look at Axios AM, national political reporter for Axios, co-founder and CEO of Axios, Jim Vanda. Hi, Jim. Good to have you with us uh, on this Monday morning. So what's the one big thing you guys are tracking for us? Uh, it's one of those mornings where you probably have three or four big things, but the big thing is what you're talking about on Morning Joe uh, after. What are the options for the president in responding to this chemical attack in Syria? He is under tremendous pressure now from Republicans in Congress. Uh, John McCain, uh, John Cornyn from Texas just tweeted out uh, that there, there should be a response uh, to what happened there. The Israelis are putting pressure on him. His own Pentagon is going to put pressure on the president to respond. So the big question is, does he respond aggressively? and do a wide-scale uh, attack on Syria or something more precise like he did last time when we had a similar uh, incident. Mm. And the other question is, does he do it alone or does he wait? Does he try to work with the French? Does he try to work uh, with, with Great Britain uh, to try to get a coalition uh, to have a response uh, to Syria? Israel was behind a missile attack on Syria's largest military base. That's according to Russia's defense ministry. Earlier on Monday, a number of rockets hit the airfield with at least a dozen deaths reported. And for more updates, I'm joined live by RT's uh, Ilya Petrenko, who's been across the story uh, the whole day. I Ilya, what more do we know so far? Details have been coming in all day. Hi again, Dan. Well, first of all, Israel regularly targets pro-Iran, pro-Assad militias in Syria. And usually they don't comment on things like that, like they didn't this time around. But the timing of this apparent strike by Israel could really turn things upside down for everyone. In what way, what impact could this have? Well, it's because of the buildup ahead of this. Now, April in Syria and things that are happening there for a second year in a row could have put the world on the brink of a conflict. Just into CNN, we just got sound from Defense Secretary James Mattis speaking about the crisis in Syria. Let's listen. U.S. capable of striking Assad's chemical weapons facilities? Now, the first thing we have to look at <clears throat> is why a chemical weapon still being used at all when Russia was the framework here in Korra of removing all the chemical weapons. And so working with our allies and partners uh, from NATO to Qatar and elsewhere, we are going to address this issue. Can you rule out taking actions, launching airstrikes against Assad, Mr. Secretary? I don't rule out anything right now. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. North Korea is denouncing a new American nuclear strategy that calls for the U.S. to enhance its arsenal of low-yield nuclear weapons. A spokesperson for the North Foreign Ministry's Institute of American Studies says the U.S. strategy is a declaration of war against the world. As part of our defense, we must modernize and rebuild our nuclear arsenal, hopefully never having to use it but making it so strong and so powerful that it will deter any acts of aggression by any other nation or anyone else. Perhaps someday in the future, there will be a magical moment when the countries of the world will get together to eliminate their nuclear weapons. Unfortunately, we are not there yet. 